Rich Grosso. You guys are looking at me like, is this an Italian Jewish? Like, did an albino Smurf pick me just fucking walk up here? <laughs> I tell you, man, I'm a little conflicted, man. I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm, uh, I don't know whether to be happy or sad about this. I, I do a little acting back in LA, right? And I, uh, I did not get a job this week, right? They said I was too fucking tall to double Danny DeVito. <laughs> fucking assholes. I'm tall enough to double Danny DeVito, right? Unbelievable. So what's going on? It's nice to be here. It really is nice to be here. Um, who, where's my old fucks? I'm in my 50s now. Anybody 50 or north of 50? God bless, God bless. Get, uh, things are changing, man. I'm, uh, my doctor told me I'm in my heart attack years. <laughs> Apparently that's a thing, heart attack years, man. It got me thinking about things I never thought about when I was younger too, like stupid random shit. Like for example, like, uh, like the way I shave. Everybody has their own little routine, right? And what I do is I shave the beard first. I don't know why. And then I shave the mustache for last, right? And then I do the left side of the mustache. Then I do the right side of the mustache, and that little centerpiece I shave last. What happens now? I'm in a heart attack years. I shave the left. I shave the right. And right now, moment in time, I fucking dropped out of a heart attack, right? People are negative. <laughs> They're not going to find my body and go, oh, wow, check him out. <laughs> he must have been a really big fan of Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> I'm also getting a little slower on the uptake now that I'm in my 50s, you know? Like, I'm not figuring stuff out like I used to. Tell you a story, I was back in LA, I was all by myself. Ate something, didn't agree with me, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I farted, I caught one. <laughs> and it wasn't one of those normal ones that because it belongs to you, you don't mind the smell all that much. <laughs> it was one of those ones that in spite of the fact it belonged to you, you're wondering what the fuck crawled up your ass and died? <laughs> <laughs> you like that, don't you? <laughs> now, historically, those kind of gas excretions, they, uh, they tend to follow you around the house for a few minutes, right, man? Yeah. All right, well, this one was no different. And, well, here's where I come into play. Here's the point of the story. So after about an hour, I still smell this thing. <laughs> so after further investigation, how do I put this? All right, here's how I, what I thought was just a preview turned out to be the whole fucking movie. <laughs> Now, pooping in my pants doesn't make me feel old. I've been getting drunk coming to Vegas shit in my pants for years. Anybody else? Right. It's the fact that it took me a fucking hour to figure it out. Yeah? So I suck at relationships. I've been, I've been married and divorced twice. I swear to God, married and divorced. And um, I was feeling bad about that. I met a guy here recently, though. No kidding around. I met a guy married and divorced, no shitting around. You guys ready? 12 times, oh. right? <laughs> I mean, I asked this guy, I go, dude, like, do you just like the ceremony part? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy's walking up and down an aisle 12 times. I hope to God he's getting mileage, you know? It's like, <laughs> is there like a contest I'm not aware of, you know? 12 more weddings, this guy fucking wins a Prius. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, I wish I was more like my parents when it came to marriage. You know, my parents, God bless them, they're gone now, but 52 years my parents were married. Can you believe that shit? 52 years, God bless them, right? Yeah, give it up for my dead parents. It's okay. God bless them. Yeah, yeah 52 years before my father finally got up enough balls to kill her. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. <laughs> she killed him. <laughs> Actually, we don't really know who killed you. The fucking coroner's report came back inconclusive. So, speaking of coroner's reports, here's a convenient segue. Um, I thought shit was weird in Vegas. Shit's way weirder in LA, man. You can look this up. This is 100% verifiable. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office, you know the city morgue, has a gift shop? <laughs> right? Gift shop. Who the fuck's shopping at the morgue? <laughs> what do they sell? <laughs> I mean, how would this even come up in normal conversation, you know? Yeah. Hey, Rich, you want to come to the jewelry store with me? I want to get my girlfriend Susie a heart-shaped pendant for Valentine's Day. Ah, fuck that. I already went to the L.A. County Corners gift shop. <laughs> Got my girl an actual heart. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm going back next month for her birthday. There was a Gucci body bag going on sale. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm glad this is a dirty show. If you haven't noticed, I curse a lot. I got a bit of a potty mouth. I do. I got a bit. Of, you know, I'm from. I, I remember I went from Jersey to L.A. and when I first got there, they just thought I had Tourette's. You know. It's like, yeah. I think I curse so much because I'm a product of my environment, and I think we're all products of our environment. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story about my mom. I was five years old. I was in kindergarten. And my mother got called at the Mother Superior's office for a parent-teacher conference. So me and my mom show up at the school, right? Nun says, Mrs. Grosso, we got a big problem with your son, Rich. He says, well, what's that? He goes, well, he's five and he's using the F word. A lot. I swear to God, my mother, I don't know where he gets this fucking shit from. <laughs> <laughs> By those little fucking assholes on the playground. Go talk to them. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I give him his fucking lunch money. I kiss him goodbye and I remind him, watch your fucking mouth. So I will leave you with this. Uh, my father was, I'm Italian American from Jersey, as I mentioned. My father though, he wasn't the stereotypical tough guy Italian father. He was actually kind of kind of quiet, timid. Didn't really discipline me all that much. You know, he really left that up to my mom, you know. But when he did discipline me, you know, he was way more creative than my mother, you know. My mom would just like scream, yell, chase me around the house with a wooden spoon, you know. He would just stare me down, man. He would just look at me. He'd be like, kid, kid. You keep this shit up, I'm gonna take all your toys. I'm gonna bring them to the local orphanage. That way you got something to play with when I drop you off. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is my time. I am Rich Grosso. God bless you and good night. Rich Grosso, everybody, Rich Grosso.